Hello and welcome to the first in a series of Focusrite videos where we will explore Pro Tools first, which now comes bundled with every Scarlett second generation interface. I've installed the Focusrite Creative Pack upon registering the unit on the Focusrite website. This comprises of the Pro Tools first installer and 12 new powerful plugins. In this video, I'm going to show you the Elastic Audio Engine and how it can correct pitch and timing errors in recordings. So this is a track that I've been working on in Pro Tools first. I've been recording it with the Focusrite drum pack that you get upon registering the unit. And I've been plugging directly into the Scarlett 2i2 to play in my guitar parts. So here's a quick listen to the drum beat. So now I want to show you Elastic Audio, which is a really powerful feature of Pro Tools first. If I double click on this channel, and highlight it, you'll see the time base selector here and it's set to samples. So to quickly describe sample versus tick, uh, if you make an audio track sample based, all audio regions in the track have a fixed location on the timeline and the audio stays fixed to the sample time whether you're changing tempo or, or meter in a session. Tick based audio is fixed to strictly bars and beats and moves relative to the sample timeline when tempo and meter changes are made. However, MIDI events and tick based audio respond differently to you changing tempo in respect to duration. For this exercise, we need to select the tick time base. Also, I need to click on this icon here, which is the elastic audio icon. And I've got four options. Polyphonic refers to audio with multiple notes, like a piano or a guitar. Rhythmic is great for drums and percussion. Monophonic is for single melody lines, like a vocal or a saxophone. And very speed adjusts the time and the pitch together, whereas polyphonic, rhythmic, and monophonic maintain the original pitch of the audio. So I'm going to select rhythmic, then, in this waveform window, I'm going to select Analysis. And Pro Tools will insert locators at the transients of the audio. So you'll see here, at the beginning of each hit of that drum beat, there's a locator. Now I'm going to select Warp. And by holding Shift, I'm going to create warp markers, like so, where these initial locators have been placed. So now if I want to, I can adjust the audio and time stretch it as long as my snap is set to a 64th. If I hold shift, I can then adjust the audio like so without affecting anything outside of it. So this will sound quite strange. I'll play it back to you now. I'll undo that because it doesn't sound great. But now that these markers are placed, I can now change the BPM of the session and it'll adjust the audio accordingly. So I'll put that back to the original tempo. And now I'm going to show you how to process multiple audio channels. So I'm going to loop this section here. So that's what my track sounds like. You just tighten up that loop here and here. So now I want to ensure that the time frame is set to ticks for all of these audio parts as it is and I need to switch on elastic audio. So these guitar parts I'm going to set to polyphonic because there are multiple notes being played. And in the waveforms I'm going to analyze them like so and then set them to warp. And now when we play everything back, again, you'll be able to hear that when I change the tempo, all of the audio will be affected. So 
So now I want to show you the Elastic Audio pitch processing. So on this guitar lick, I want to transpose that upper fifth, for example. So I make sure it's set to polyphonic, and I go to the clip menu and click on Elastic Properties. And here on the pitch shift, I can simply either type in or drag up to a fifth. So five semitones. And now when I play it, it adjusts the pitch accordingly. So that is Elastic Audio, a really powerful tool in Pro Tools First. So there's a quick overview of just one of the fantastic features of Pro Tools First in combination with Scarlett's second generation interfaces.